50 meters in size. And so it's a real challenge to package those tightly and then deploy in space. Uh, two aspects probably are most important for deploying a solar sail. The first is deploying the booms that hold the membranes in place. We're using inflation to uh, push the booms out and to the right location. And then we uh, cool the booms to rigidize them. The second aspect is deploying the sails, the thin film membranes that we've talked about. Uh, those will incorporate ripstop so that if there's a small tear, it doesn't propagate very far. In addition, we have to deploy those so that we don't affect the sail's reflective performance. And so special measures are taken to maintain the integrity of that sail. What is the future of this program? I would say within the next dozen years or so, solar sails will be used routinely to propel spacecraft. Uh, continual improvements in the sail technology will allow them to be used for extreme environments like near-sun missions. Over the next 20 years, most importantly, we'll have the technology in hand to do interstellar uh, missions. These are kilometer-sized solar sails that weigh only one to two grams per square meter. The technology being developed today at NASA is going to enable us to unlock a lot of the secrets of the universe. Not only will we be able to look at distant places using telescopes, we'll actually be able to send science instruments to some of those locations using solar sails. Researchers at NASA are continuing to improve the materials used for solar sails every day, making them stronger and lighter. Coming up, we find out how some NASA detective work helped preserve the day.